Hello again. Right, well this time, um, this is really just a quick review of a beer that I brewed um, from this book, which is uh, John Finch's Beer Craft. So it's a really good book. Um, there's, I don't know, maybe a dozen or so recipes in here. And conveniently, uh, these are all available on the Malt Miller website as pre-weighed recipe kits. So you can just go on there, if you search for John Finch, um, you can buy a pre-weighed kit essentially, they'll weigh out all the ingredients according to this recipe and it arrives all nicely in a box, so um, double handy. Um, this is actually Tiny Rebel Urban IPA. Um, caught my eye, fancied brewing it, it looked like a nice kind of citrusy old school IPA type thing, not too strong. Um, I think it worked out about 4.7%. I keyed all this recipe into Brewfather um, and worked it all out for my equipment. So I did this brew in a bag um, using a 35 litre kettle. Um, and yeah, the recipe is basically pale malt, some carapils, Crystal 150, Munich and wheat. So as I say, you can order this all on Malt Miller, it all comes all in one big bag. Um, the hops used are Columbus at the start for bittering. Um, then there is a series of Chinook at 15, Cascade at 10, Columbus at 5, Chinook at 5, and then some Cascade at Flame Out. And it's dry hopped with Chinook and Columbus. So sounds nice and citrusy, a bit of dankness there from the Columbus. Um, it came with, oh, it says here a pack of WLP007, which I think is um, uh, just USL yeast. So I've made, but I can't remember what it came with now. It might come with US05 um, in the box. So yeah, if you've not seen this book before, it's worth checking out. There's some good recipes in here, peels and um, yeah, and there's a, a Saison, California Common. Um, there's the Intensely Hot Lager, which I think is from uh, the Hells, uh, Camden Town Brewery. So yeah, really good book. All right, so um, I brewed this a couple of months ago. It's been in the shed conditioning. Um, so this has just come out of the fridge now, actually. So it should be uh, nicely chilled. Yeah, so no brew fittage. I couldn't be asked to be perfectly honest when I brewed it. I was in not a bit of a rush, but I was up against time. So um, I just had to get it brewed at the time. And um, yeah, so no footage to speak of. All right, so I can tell you, out of the bottle, it smells nice and citrusy. I think I carbonated these with about half a teaspoon, maybe more. It might have been a teaspoon of dextrose in each bottle. I've got in the habit of uh, priming each bottle rather than kind of batch priming. That seems to have worked better for me recently. I find you get a bit more of a consistent carbonation and there's less chance of it getting kind of infected or um, oxidized. So yeah, so that's what I've been doing. So straight out of the fermenter, it was cold crushed, straight out of the fermenter into the bottles. And when I bottle it, with these hoppy beers, to stop the kind of oxygenation, oxidization I should say, with the bottling process, what I do is I kind of just leave the, the cap on loosely uh, while I'm doing the others and you'll see it kind of bubbles away. Uh, and in my brain, I'm thinking that the CO2 that's in the liquid is kind of purging out the oxygen. So it'll sort of kind of tap, 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 tap like that. Um, after about 10 minutes and I put the cap on. So hopefully it um, doesn't oxidize. That's, that's the my thinking anyway. Anyway, there it is. You can see it is a nice kind of pale, slightly golden color. It's a nice frothy head on it. And yeah, so Slightly hazy, but I guess that's from maybe the wheat that's in it. Um, yeah, so in terms of aroma, as I said, very nice citrusy sort of aroma. Get that sort of dankness coming from, I guess, the Columbus. But it just smells lovely grapefruit, pithy, citrusy type smell. See what it tastes like. Mm. Okay, so really nice, sweet, 
sweetness coming from the, the malt, um, perfectly bittered and nice and hoppy. I mean, it's ticking all the boxes for me. It's exactly what I had in mind when I was kind of planning a brew. I thought I fancied a kind of nice citrusy pale ale. Um, that recipe caught my eye and yeah, so luckily for me, it was all available on the Fort Miller website and uh, yeah, it's turned out really nice. Maybe not um, a trendy type beer at the moment. I don't know. Um, it's a bit more of an old school IPA, but I'm really enjoying that. Um, and yeah, I would recommend it. Check it out and um, have a look for this book. If you haven't got it, I've got this off eBay for a couple of quid. Um, just trying to build up my book collection and I was really pleased about it. There's some, it's not only good recipes, but there's some good text in here as well. So um, yeah, I'd recommend this book as well. All right, till next time, cheers.